McCormick lost to veteran Ronniel Iglesias in the welterweight Olympic gold medal bout. Pat McCormick was unable to clinch Olympic gold as veteran Ronniel Iglesias came out on top in the welterweight final. McCormick made his Olympics debut at Rio 2016, where he lost to Cuban Yasniel Toledo in the second round. But the British boxer has shown his true talents in recent years, clinching Commonwealth gold in 2018 and winning at the 2019 European Games. He came into the bout against Iglesias, who won gold at London 2012, as the top seed. But Iglesias, 32, got off to a strong start in the opening round and was holding a slender lead. That left McCormick with a lot to do in the second round but Iglesias showed his experience in keeping the British boxer at arm's length. The Cuban boxer held a big advantage heading into the final round, meaning McCormick needed a knockdown at least to help bring him back into the fight. Despite his best efforts, McCormick was not able to find a way through Iglesias. As the clock ticked down, McCormick began to tire as he went for the knockout. And as the bell rang for the end of the fight, McCormick and Iglesias knew who had won. The 26-year-old showed great sportsmanship in congratulating his opponent before Iglesias was confirmed as the winner. McCormick had been given a walkover into the final after Ireland's Aidan Walsh pulled out of their fight on Sunday. The British boxer had beaten Walsh previously in the semi-finals of the European qualifiers in June. And he also secured high-profile wins over the Irish boxer at the 2019 World Championships and 2018 Commonwealth Games. But McCormick's silver medal means this year's Games have already been British boxing's most successful Olympics since 1920. Galal Yafai's win in the flyweight semi-finals guaranteed GB to win at least six medals. Karis Ardingstahl won GB's first boxing medal of the 2020 Olympics at the weekend as she clinched bronze in the featherweight division.